What up, it's your girl Minna, and I want to welcome you back. I am so excited. My lips are sticking together. I should have waited. I put on my e.l.f. lip primer. <laughs> so now, um, do you see that? It's actually a good thing. It's how it should be, so that your lip can adhere to the primer on your lip. But now that I'm talking, it feels strange. Oh, dear God. Welcome. We're going to chat. We're going to do makeup, and we're going to talk about me being a part of the Sephora squad. So let's just jump into the video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're returning, I'm so excited that you're here. This is a new unit. I'm going to link her below. Okay. It, it dawns out. First of all, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for everyone and their support, all your comments. My DMs keep growing and growing. I'm like, oh. I really am so grateful for everybody and their, your comments and your, your encouragement and funny stuff y'all be saying. Like, it just, it just, it just, ugh. So I'm doing a look that y'all loved on Instagram and I'm sure you're gonna love here. I don't feel like putting primer on today. My skin has been recovering from breaking out and it's really looking really good. I should get a hydrating. I didn't get a hydrating primer. I don't feel like getting it. Maybe I should use this. Okay. Revlon has a rose, photo ready, rose glow, hydrating, illuminating primer. Okay. Well, this is my first time using this. So let's just do this. Put a few hands, a few drops into the hands, rub together and melt the oil beads and apply to the face. Okay. Wear it alone or under your foundation. So this is my first time using this. This is what it looks like. Well, let's just talk. I hope this is not going to be long, but if you love me, you'll wait around and you'll watch. Okay. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, oh, uh oh, I was supposed to put this on my hand. I can't. I'm irritated. Oh wow. I'm irritated. Hi. Irritation. Here we are. I was supposed to put it on my hands. What in tarnation? Okay. Well, here we are on the face. <laughs> Uh, hi. <laughs> see, I'm not used to doing the hands. I guess I'm gonna be dewy today. Lord have mercy. I don't see any oil beads. Unless they're extremely small. What the blood that? This is kind of clumped up like boogers. I think it counteracted with my skincare. I see a little bit of a shimmer, which is nice. Some glow. Okay, that was just one area because I'm not gonna wash my face and start all over again. I have too much product on this face, okay? We are moving on. I haven't used this in a while. I used it once the other day. I'm gonna use it again today. This is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Makeup with with SPF. The color is truffle. This is the second iteration of Sephora Squad. And I even had to tell myself like, wait, I'm saying this wrong. So it makes it seem like, I mean, the collaboration is with Sephora. Hello, right? But it's actually through four. So F-O-H-R, four. They basically provide a lot of information and opportunities for influencers about the business, okay? So they've partnered with Sephora. As part of the squad, yeah, we do monthly campaigns and events and there's mentorship. There's obviously nationwide opportunities. Oops, excuse me. <laughs> That's the microphone. Mic check one, two, one, two. So yeah, it's a national thing. It's amazing. It is awesome. I applied last year, which was the first time that they did it. And I became a semi-finalist, but then I didn't make it, which was okay because it wasn't a good time. Now that I look at it, I'm like, I'm glad I didn't make it at that time. So God obviously had his hand in this the whole time. Now I wasn't even thinking about it again because I didn't know if they were going to do it again. This was the first time they had done it last year. They having this again and God must be like, yo, this is your time. Apply right now because you about to get this, right? So I was like okay since I had applied last year and I had already become familiar with four you sign up with four they verify your audience to make sure that you haven't purchased your you know your audience that your accounting shady that is real so I am four verified praise the lord okay that's very important but then also you can collect follower testimonials people who can speak on your behalf and say I follow her because this I like her page because this I've made purchases based off her recommendation I have not made purchases whatever whatever the reasoning is behind why you follow me and why you like me, love me, what have you. I'm looking between the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealers, which I never even had these until now. Bought them on Amazon, love. So I'm gonna use the color Warm Caramel. So I'm like, you know what? Let me continue to collect these testimonials because when one, it'll help me with brands to understand that my audience is here for me, which I don't take for granted. I still kept collecting testimonials just every now and then. The application process came back around. I was like, well, dang, I know I already have testimonials. So I got a kind of a heads up. Uh, leg up I mean so let me continue doing this I'm drying this down just a little bit to get a little more coverage Jackie Ina has schooled the girls I love this technique and I became a semi-finalist and once I was a semi-finalist it's not about pride but it was just more confirmation from Jesus I was like oh, I'm gonna win you know because to me I'm like and just because the way that things have gone for me in my life this year I was like oh yeah this is it this is it this is the year <laughs> you know so I was just so thrilled when I was notified that I that I was selected. I don't know how many thousands applied, but thousands applied is what I understand. Well, I think there are 62 of us, whereas last year there were 20 something or 20. So 
like I don't know what the percentage of acceptance was and something to be celebrated because it is just so awesome it's just such an such an awesome opportunity I'm just so blown away so part of me was like I knew this would happen but then part of me is like god you are so good I, I thank you because of course you gotta be grateful like right and I so and of course I was just so grateful shocked because I was like wow what I thought was true but um very very grateful like lord what else do you have what else do you have for me and I just can't wait so I really truly feel because of a lot of things can you even see that probably because of a lot of things a lot of things that I'll explain in due time and I just knew that Jesus <laughs> orchestrated this for me and I'm just so grateful so grateful I can't even like I made sure I'm recording imagine if I was just talking this whole time I wasn't recording that'd be so tragic you know like irritating anyway this is gonna be a chatty video we're already at 10 minutes praise the lord I hope you have some snacks you know put your foot in a little pedicure situation get a little massage going because we got a lot to talk about I'm gonna cream contour obviously and then I'm a pot of contour with this morphe contour that I just purchased a, a bronzer but it's a I'll get to it when I get to it so let me contour right now and I'm gonna come back to you okay gotta be where you are this is the black radiant stick foundation in the color chocolate dip and now I'm gonna set my foundation with this Ciate London everyday vacay coconut setting powder I love this so much I can put on my whole face and it's not gonna make me look crazy and ghostly okay so right now this is the Sephora micro smooth powder in the color deep bronze and this is just to bring in some color to the skin so the, the white the translucent powder was to mattify this is to bring color and now I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I guess you're gonna watch me do my eyebrows I have not forgotten about the Q&A video from weeks back I've actually already recorded it I just need to edit it all right so now I'm gonna show you the eye look that I wanted to show you that I know a lot of you have been loving on my page this is now gonna be my basic look <laughs> this right here so usually what I would do is put face powder on my eye and then move on with my face but then it leaves the eye looking very nude blank I mean I do lashes still but the eye looks kind of like I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Hill volume 2 palette I can and I know I'm not doing primer on my eyelid that is strange I know did this one day when I was in a little bit of a rush and I was like maybe I can this particular look I'm not gonna do it any others I'm not I, I believe in primer I believe in primer and I've actually been really enjoying this elf putty eye primer it's very dry not oily which is great however it dries wicked fast so when you apply with your finger you need to move quickly okay but for that price well I think it's like six bucks it's really really great I'm, I'm like doing it and cringing at the same time I am not the kind of person to put eyeshadow on without a primer it's like oh but I did this one time and I was like I guess I can make do, you know. G Money is such a beautiful brown girl friendly color. You need look, and I like to spread it around the crease, like really make it kind of messy. It needs to really blend into the highlight concealer in a very seamless fashion. I'm going over here on the side so that there are no harsh let's say it together do you have this palette comment and let me know and then the next easy 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 thing that i do i need to find the right brush hello where's the brush okay flat fluffy brush like this brush you guys say brush you know i do wish that there was a dark a dark brown in here i could go with the crazy which is a a plum but i want it to be brown this is a natural look so what i did was i was using my my like contour color for the eye but since i'm using something different which is the morphe morph uh, more, I, yeah, I told you i told you i have to use my accent if i don't use my accent i can't talk and i will not be forced i gotta talk how i talk okay and how i talk is like this i'm from rhode island not new york okay but the accent overlaps so there is a little bit of overlapture overlapture like aperture on a camera okay i guess i ah this is too red for me i want it to really be brown although maybe if i use it it'll really tie things in i want to just go with a brow <laughs> Hold on. This is something new that I've been doing. I never used to really subscribe to this. And now that I do it, I'm like, where have I been all this time? That is so hideous. Like, why haven't I been doing this, you know? I've been taking my crease co uh, crease color and bringing it down here, but like connecting it up there. I always used to just leave like a little gap. I don't know, just because. But now I'm like, nah, son, we gotta bring this up. You heard? We gotta make that connect. We gotta make that connection. You feel what I'm saying? So this is still G money. I'm looking down. Nobody wants to fall out, okay? All right, get a little bit of that going. It makes such a subtle difference. 
see. I used to use this CoverGirl powder foundation in the color Deep Cool 4. And I used to contour with this, but now I'm using the Morphe one because I'm trying it out and I really, really love it. Any dark brown eyeshadow you have is cool. Or if you want to use your contour color, that's cool. Even if you wanted to use your bronzer color, that's cool. I just like this brown look. It just really is different and like cute. It's basically a subtle smoky eye. It's all very subtle. Always tap off the excess no matter what product I'm using unless it's liquid. If I'm using any powder product, always tapping off the excess. Okay, so subtle, but the eyes are like, oh, you got a little sunset situation. And then my eyelashes, you already know lashes. I get them from AliExpress. I got a video on IGTV about my lashes. I think the link is down below. If not, I'll make sure I link it for you, but you can get them a lot faster if you get them from Amazon. The box says D22. I, uh, the company is Colash. If you want to go look on AliExpress. I have really been into the smudged liner look because it's just really easy. We need a little bit of mascara. I do put mascara on before my lashes. That's very, very important. It's very, very important because then I'm gonna press my lashes together and it's all gonna stick together. It needs something to stick to. So we're just smudging both liners. It's a little smoky, a little sultry, and I am gonna put bottom mascara on. This is the It Cosmetics one, which is my favorite for my bottom lashes. This is the Morphe <laughs> Prodigy Glamour Bronze Face and Body Bronzer, but the color to me is kind of a contour, so maybe a bronzer, you know? I don't know, look at that, hello. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I do see the warm, so it's got the red. Bronzer is warm, contour is like neutral. Blend that down, that is not what I want. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, this is the bronzer. I could add a contour to it, but I should take a different brush, shouldn't I? This is just so big, it made that line, whatever. But yeah, I'm really excited. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Make sure you are subscribed to this too, because honestly, if you made it to this point, this video I know is long, so that, obviously means that you like me if not you love me you know so you might as well make sure you subscribed here also make sure you are following me on instagram and let's go you know oh yeah this is like really warm we don't want harsh lines anywhere okay yes bronzer so the same powder i used on my eye just a little bit like toward the bottom of the situation well you know like ish more on the outside i used a lot of that <laughs> bronzer because i was really into it I mean, I still am. I do have the other color, the second to darkest color, which is Leader. I don't know what this is gonna look like, but one day I gotta give it a shot. This is, I don't know what this is gonna look like. Maybe I need to give it away. I don't know. Do you have these? Have you used them? Do you like them? Talk to me. Ooh, this is looking really dork. <laughs> I haven't even done a uh, blush. <laughs> I don't even think I need blush because the bronzer is so brown and red, like warm. I really been loving these Menti Cosmetics blushes. Clay Too Much and Peach for the Stars because they're so gorgeous and just perfect for brown skin. Reminds me of, of uh, what's that one from MAC? I have it right here too. I forget the name, but this is Clay Too Much. My cheeks are doing a lot today. Wow. <laughs> Not sure that that was my intention, but here we are. Mm, dear Lord, because I did the bronzer, the contour, and the blush, but that's fine. Whatever. Do what you want with your face. After all, you're the one who has to answer. You got to answer to it. <laughs> you know? You're the one answering the questions. So do it how you feel. This one is Peach for the Stars. So I do Clay Too Much first, and then Peach for the Stars. I'm bringing it really in, like here. I wanted it to really play off of the orange in my crease. You know what? I just thought about. I should have used this orange color as a blush. I've never used an eyeshadow as a blush. But one of these days, I'm gonna do one of these days. And it's a highlight, CoverGirl True Blend Super Stunner. This is the color Gilded Glory. I've been using these a lot because they are wicked pigmented. Like, girl, you gotta go easy. This is not for beginners. Like, I'm taking a very little amount and you can build it up if you want to, but you gotta go so easy with this. It is very pigmented, which is great. So you don't feel like you're having to waste product because it gets you where you need to go quickly. You just gotta go be careful. Oh. And I'm always wiping off my brush on my paper towel in between application because there's a difference between 
between applying the product and blending the product. So have a tissue in front of you so you can be wiping your brush. Place it where you want it first and then you wipe off your brush so that you can be blending it in. There's a difference, okay? You've been put on notice. This is my IT Cosmetics superhero. I really and truly could use this. This is the other CoverGirl True Blend Super Stunner situation that I have. And this is the color Pearl Crush. It's a silvery situation. I'm put her right here. It's hello, very easy. You can use your face highlight in your inner tear duct. Oh yeah. Wow, I'm looking pretty dewy today. That 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 rose situation that I used with the with the foundation combination, the rose glow, I can see it underneath this foundation. No lies. And with that foundation, like I haven't even sprayed my face with anything dewy and I look dewy. Like I feel, I feel like I should put some of the highlighter on my decolletage. <laughs> decolletage. 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 You know, decolletude. Decolletude. What? You can't even do. I don't normally do liners. I like to use a lip stain as a liner, but I can't find my lip stain. So I'm going to use, ooh, this is beautiful. I forgot how beautiful this is. Mented Night Lip Pencil. Look at that. It's a look of caramel. Oh my gosh. And this whole look is total caramel vibes. Okay, so I'm totally going back to using this. I was gonna put this pink lip on the inside, but no. This is very caramelly, so I want to follow up with a caramelly lip color in the middle. So the lipstick I'm going to use is Ooh, which mimics Slow Down from ColourPop. Slow Down is sold out. Ooh is is the makeup Shayla collab from, I don't even know when I bought so many of these because the color is so bomb. Uh, yes, this is amazing. I'm really like feeling very tanned and amazing. Wow. I'm gonna probably say wow, W-A-O-W, -W. wow. <laughs> Maybe I should have worn my other wig, the brown one. Do you love this simple look as much as I do? It's very bronzy. It looks like I put a lot of effort into it. I mean, I was talking a lot. I could really do this look in 30 minutes if I'm moving quickly. And speaking of, make sure you watch my five minute makeup video, which is really funny and it's very, it's very, very stressful. Make sure you leave some feedback. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to me here and on Instagram. I'm grateful for you watching and glad you're here. Bye.